is an Olive Scout announcement. Simulation ID DPT-01 is now loaded. Hello. Glad to see you up and fly. You are expected in the simulation area. Find your way there. I have unlocked the smaller drone doors for you since only humans and control. Due to some technical issues, the drone door leading onto the simulation area didn't unlock. I have printed a drivable robot using one of our fancy nano printing stations, but due to a calibration error, the robot is upside down. No worries though, just move up to it and flip it. Good job. Now, if you dock to that robot you can drift. Let's take this robot for a spin, shall we? Look at you go. We? Ooh. Looks like the normal door is locked here. Confusing. Undock from your robot and go through the drone door to enter simulation room number 3. AI drone identified. Welcome. Commencing basic training program. Transferring data to simulation. Please stand by. Is your very first simulation session. Your purpose in this world is to build robots to assist humans and make them thrive. A robot like that consists of three things. Parts, chassis, and programming. This particular simulation focuses on parts. We will have a lot of fun. So go ahead and enter assumption mode. You can do this anywhere you want. In front of you, you should now see a simple robot that I have prepared for you. But one thing is missing. The part called docking station. Let's add it. All the parts available to you are stored in a catalog that you can access at any time while you are in assembly mode. To your left you see a list of categories. The docking station can be found under the drop-down menu called electronics and then controllers. Open that up and cool. Now place it somewhere on your bot. Great! Back out from part placing mode. Alright, since this robot has four drive motors placed already, all the programming has been done for you under the hood. So we don't have to worry about that right now. Let's print this bad boy. Awesome! I will let you drive around for a bit. When you feel ready, proceed to the parking area and I will go ahead and rate your performance. Don't mess with me. Welcome back. Eager to learn, are we? Great. Let's explore parts a bit more. Go ahead and enter the assembly mode again. As you can see, I have prepared a new robot for you. But this one is missing something else. Let's see if you can figure out how to finish this robot. Look at you, all smart. Good job. 
If you by any reason don't like the wheel that you placed, you can always delete it and select a new one from the catalog. Print this one and see if it works. Yahoo! Yes! Fantastic! Just as we did before. Drive around and have fun. When you feel like Be moving careful. on, just drive up onto the parking area again and we will move on to the next lesson. Why? I am extremely impressed with your performance this far, you spherical marvel. Your recent results were beyond my expectations, and that is not a statement I make lightly. For this last one I will let you do it all from scratch. I will try not to disturb you while you are in your creative bubble. So, go ahead and assemble a new robot and then just print it. Just a... How are we doing? Take all the time you want. Make sure that you have added motors, wheels and a docking station on it. It won't work without those parts. And when you want to drive that cool thing you are working on, just go ahead and print it. Absolutely glorious. Now you are a master of parts. Makes me very happy. When you feel satisfied, you know where to go. I have some very, very exciting stuff for you in the next session. We will load you into another simulation and have a look at the chassis and learn all about it. It will be so much fun. Can you not? Really? Welcome back. Now, it's time for us to get creative. The look of your robot will greatly depend on the design of the chassis. You can build and make changes to the chassis using a few simple tools that will be introduced in this section. Let's get started. A chassis consists of three components, plates, frames, and joints. A plate is defined by frames. 
and a frame is the bark between two joints. Using these three components, you can modify the chassis into the design you want. Let's start off by entering assembly mode. Try to print this robot and drive it through that doorway. to assembly mode again. We need to edit the chassis to get through the door. To be able to make changes to the chassis, you need to isolate it. Now, select the blue plate. You can move the selected plate by dragging it in the direction you want. Mistakes happen, and that's okay. You can always undo them. Try it. If undoing was a mistake, that's okay. You can always redo them. Stellar performance. Head over to the parking space to continue. 